If you've been following along the last couple of videos, we've been setting up our first advertising campaign. Then we have set up our location targeting or our radius targeting. And in this video, we're going to continue on and we are going to create our very first ad group, uh, which is required in the Google grant policy. And so again, I just want to reiterate as we continue, um, firstly, you can see here that we have our location, our radius targeting set up. We can see on the map, this is where we left off. And now we're going to be moving on. So we are selected here on our church near me tab. This is the name of my campaign. Click on yours, and then we're going to go to add groups. And now when this page is loaded, we're just going to sit here for just a moment before we create one. And I just want to remind you in the hierarchy, um, in the levels of Google advertising and the Google ads program, the church near me, or excuse me, um, all campaigns is going to be at your account level, which is the highest level. Your advertising campaign is your second highest level and your ad groups are going to be your third level. And so we're kind of getting into the nitty gritty of it now, which is, you know, we're moving along. Um, but these ad groups are each going to hold multiple ads. And so what we want to do is we want to break down what we think uh, these ad groups are going to be. So for instance, with Katie Church, what I happen to know is that there are going to be search terms relevant to church near me. And so people who are looking for churches are going to be within this advertising group. If they have digital media marketing, any type of, or excuse me, digital media content, all of that is going to go in a different campaign. If they have um, Bible studies, different, different campaign. But in this group, when people are looking for churches in the area, um, I'm going to have a specific ad group and I, and I happen to know, uh, with keyword research that we've done, we are going to find people searching terms like near me. And so for in, for this specific, uh, group of ads, I'm going to have ads targeted to church near me. And so for this ad group, we're going to create again, this one's going to be near me and we'll create a, a separate ad group for something similar related to churches search terms, but it may not contain near me. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that the Google grant policy requires that you have one. So if you can see me here, one advertising campaign, which we have set up. So good job, but it requires that we have two um, ad groups. And so we're going to keep that in mind as we move on, because this is not the only one that you'll have to make. So we're going to click on ad group. We're going to click on the blue plus icon. Once you have titled your ad group, you will see that uh, you are to enter or paste your keywords in here. Now, if you remember from earlier, we did our keyword, key, uh, excuse me, keyword forecasting and we downloaded our keyword forecast reports. And so we're going to reopen that right now. And I have mine here. Looks like we're open here. Um, and now I am going to bring my keyword forecast over into the next screen right over here. And then I'm just going to drag the uh, copy and paste the relevant keywords into this um, keyword kind of little area. So I'm going to copy this first batch. So we have those that we have already found earlier and we decided that these are appropriate keywords. Okay. So I have found all of the relevant keywords to near me. And so you can see in Katy, Texas, these are the popular search terms for churches in the area. Um, and so we have all search, all churches near me, best churches near me. Now, the importance with ad groups as we're setting up this ad group is to realize that the keywords that we put in here are going to be matched with the search term. So when someone searches churches near me, and churches near me is in my keywords and in my ad, I'm going to have a much higher probability of showing up right there at the top with my perfectly written ad, which I'm going to show you how to do, but I have the best chance of showing up at the top it, rather than if I had just thrown in all of the random keywords that I find. And, and for instance, a one that's not in here is closest church. That's very similar. But as far as Google is concerned, is it the keyword is not the same. It's similar, but not the same. And so um, I'll give you one more exam examples, Katy churches. And so obviously we're you know working with Katy, Texas. So Katy churches. So the next ad group I can make uh, if we're looking at two ad groups, which we have to make for the grant, can be 
uh, churches in Katy, Texas. And so we'll pull over all of those keywords and market to those separately again. So those will be closest to the top in those search engine listings. So once we have all of these pasted in, um, we've already done our research. This is just one more way that you can find keywords. It can be a little faster and we've discussed this in the keyword section, but just so that you see the functionality, you know, churches near me. And when this pulls up, it will actually give you, it looks like we've gotten all the large ones because the, the very, very small number of searches will show up here. Um, but you'll see, you know, 1,200 searches a month or 500 searches a month over here on the side and what they are. So you can always add more if you want. But when we're satisfied, we're just going to click save and continue. Now, the next page that's going to pull up here uh, is going to be the page where we're going to start getting into and creating our ads and whatnot. We're going to come back to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here. I'm going to cancel our ad creation and I am going to save and continue. And you will see that we have created our ad group. So you're going to see right now that we have created our ad group and we can see that ad group. You no, know, just kind of understanding the structure of Google ads as we're learning here, you can see we have our campaign selected and underneath it is our ad group. And the campaign has this little icon next to it. It is a search campaign and under it is our near me ad group specifically with near me keywords in that ad group. If we all, we can also see this if we look here at our ad groups and we have it selected and we can see near me here as well. When we add another ad group, uh, you are going to see that in here as well. Now, uh, you don't have to watch me do it again. I'm just going to go ahead and make my next ad group and I will see you in the very next video.